Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I just did the uh, video here, as you see behind me, for my uh, wreaths <laughs> that I made for my cabinets. And if you haven't already watched that video, I would love for you to go back and check that video out as well. Uh, but this one is going to be uh, also a wreath or some sort of hanger. And uh, let's just, let me show you what uh, you need for this project here. So I went ahead and I picked me up one of these round placemats. Now I had a very hard time finding uh, these placemats. Uh, so far in the different stores that I have checked, I found them at only one store. So uh, just keep that in mind. But I do have some other ideas with this but that you would not have to use uh, this placemat. So come on back again, because I have another idea after I thought of this one, and uh, I'll, I'll show y'all what else you can do in the place of the placemat. So I do have the placemat. I also have uh, these uh, wood rounds. These are a little bit hard to find as well. I couldn't find them that easily in my stores. So when I did find them at a particular store, I scooped up several of them because you can use this for all different types of projects. And then I, this was a uh, hanging piece. It did have some twine to it. And it comes in the chicken, the cow, and the, um, let's see, chicken, cow, and pig. So for this project, I did choose the chicken. And then also, uh, I'm going to be using the same type of flowers like I used in these wreaths behind here. This is the Alstroemeria, and they look like this. So I will be using those, but you can use any type of flower. And then uh, you can make your own bow. Uh, I just made a scrappy bow, and all you do is just take different scraps of fabric and cut them and then use a pipe cleaner to attach them with. It was very, very, very easy. You just, all you do is just lay your fabric out into an X pattern. And let's see, I don't know how many pieces I have here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I have six pieces and I just laid them crisscross in the cross pattern. And then like I said, I gathered them up in the middle with the, uh, um, pipe cleaner. And I learned this trick from my friend here on YouTube, uh, Mimi's Mixed Bag. Uh, she shows uh, different things that she does and she uses up scraps to make her scrap bows and I thought it was such a genius idea. So I just went with colors uh, that I thought that would look nice with this placemat. All right, so let's go ahead and get ready to get started. Oh, you also need a pair of scissors and a Sharpie. Forgot to mention that as well. Okay, so uh, let me go ahead and put this stuff to the side. Kaylee, if you need to come this way, you can, it's fine. All right, so let's start with our placemat, and we're gonna start with the back side of the placemat because you want your front side to show. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay my wood piece on the back of my fabric to uh, trace it. And I'm going to kind of go with the line of the uh, placemat and see how there's uh, lines along the way. So I'm just gonna choose about the spot here and I'm gonna go within that circular pattern that's on here. And I'm gonna take my Sharpie and I'm gonna trace it. And then after I've traced it, then I'm going to Cut it out, and I'll show you what we do from that point on. Kayla's in the background behind me. She's uh, cooking her some ramen. <laughs> all right, so now I have my pattern um, all um, uh, traced, couldn't think of the right word, y'all. 
And I'm gonna go in here and now I'm gonna cut this piece out. All right, so y'all, we have our circle here, and then here's the outer part. So I'm gonna put that to the side. Um, I'm gonna hold on to that. I always hold on to a lot of things because you never know, you could use them for another project. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach this now to the wood. So what I'm going to do is, uh, since this is, let's see, trying to see here. Okay, so this is the outside here of uh, my hanger because I want it to hang like uh, this. So I am going to put glue along this back side here. And I'm gonna do a little bit of time because it might start trying to uh, dry pretty fast. So I'm gonna start in a section here. Oh, my nose is itching. And I'm gonna run some glue along here. And then I'll press it down. And make sure that you glue it down to the wrong side because you wanna make sure that this is the front side of the placemat. And then I'm gonna start here with another section. Okay, so I have it all glued down here and that's what it should look like there. You see, there's the part there that I want to use for my hanger. And then here is my chicken. So I'm gonna now glue the chicken down and I'll make sure that my hanger is still upright. There is what we have so far with our chicken. I think that's a, so cute on there. All right, so the next step that I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and pluck up all these flowers and I'm going to place them all around the edges of our wood piece. All right, so I was gonna go ahead and show y'all what it looks like so far here. I don't have very much as of yet, but what I found that I did was if you'll notice, and it worked fine for my other project, but for this one, uh, not so much because of this piece that sticks out. So I do have some wire cutters, and I did just go all the way back to the very end, and I just cut that piece off. So basically, it could just like sit on there a little bit more flat. And uh, I'll show you that uh, I try to go in here and pick a spot might be a little bit hard to see. And then I just press it on down on there and it sits a lot flatter. So I just wanted to mention about that, that I just found it'll be a lot better. I could have probably, um, I could have set it along the edge instead, but I'm gluing it straight onto the uh, placemat itself. So, that's the way I chose to do it, but uh, I just thought that I would just go ahead and mention that. And I'm starting here at the bottom. I'm not sure how many flowers I'm gonna have to go around. So I thought at least if I went around from the bottom and I ran out, that it still would look okay. I am going to put my bow at the top. So uh, let's just see where we end up with this. But I did want to mention that, that that's what I decided to do. And um, I'm gonna keep going here. And uh, hopefully it'll cover for the most part uh, this. I, I don't know if I'm mentioning this or not, but I did pick up three bunches of uh, these flowers. So uh, I'll go ahead and keep going. I don't want y'all to sit here while I sit here and cut and then glue the flowers on. So let me just go ahead and get this done and then I'll show you at the end uh, what we end up with. Okay, y'all, this is what we have so far. And um, it went around pretty well and everything. I'm pretty happy with that because I am going to put the bow on it here anyway at the top and then you won't even notice. So let's go ahead and get ready to attach this bow. So I'm just gonna add a big old glob of uh, some uh, big old glob of hot glue. Ooh, kind of burned me a little bit. I don't have my little things that I press down with. I'm gonna have to maneuver this bow a little bit so that it's not gonna cover up the, you know, the chicken itself. 
and I just think it's a nice little addition to the top. So let me get this all situated and then uh, get my bow kind of fixed a little bit here because you know how it gets a little squished and so I'm going to try to maneuver some of these pieces around. And I see some of these longer pieces are trying to get in the way of my chicken head. All right, so let's see here. And then I got glue strands everywhere. All right, so that's pretty much what we have of this. I think it turned out real nice. I like it. I'm sorry about the glare there on it. I'm trying to turn it so you can see a little bit better but, and get in a little bit closer, but, and then, you know, here's the hanger in the back, but I really like the way that this turned out. I think this is super adorable, and this is very, very, very easy project, as you see, and like I said, I do have another idea of how to start use these again, along with the wood round pieces as well, without the placemat, so I will bring another video to y'all very soon with that as well. Uh, I do need to probably gather up some more supplies for that, but uh, I would love for you to come back and check out that if you want another, you know, alternative versus uh, this one here. But as you see though, this was super easy and you know, you could use any old type of flat piece, you know, for the middle, uh, versus the farmhouse type pieces that I did uh, use are the different animals, you know, that I, that I found. And I'm sure there's other ones as well, but these just spoke to me just because of the fact that I do have my home more in farmhouse decor. But I know that there, there are other, I'm sorry, there are other, uh, you know, galvanized pieces as well. I think there's maybe like hearts and some other things. Uh, so, you know, it's endless as in what you could do with this. So I will also insert a picture as well of what this looks like on my door. So you can see that and uh, maybe get a better view of it uh, than this here. But I hope that y'all liked this project. If you did, please give me a thumbs up as well as I love y'all's sweet, sweet comments. And uh, I have some more DIYs coming as well. I have several projects that are spring going into the uh, summertime. And then I also have a couple of 4th of July patriotic items as well that I want to bring to y'all and show y'all what um, I have come up with. All right, y'all, well, uh, if you are new to my channel, I would love you to hit the subscribe button and join my YouTube uh, channel here. And if I didn't already say, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. I think I did say that already. <laughs> and if I did, forgive me. But uh, as always, y'all, thanks for watching. Bye.